Hello, this is a ballad for a mid-sized Irish town. The mid-sized Irish town often has a man with a machine, but the machine is only used to sweep the streets for cigarette butts. Here I am at the mid-sized Irish post box. The mid-sized Irish post box is used to convey messages from the mid-sized Irish locals to the large-sized Irish locals or the miniature Irish locals or perhaps Europeans. This is the mid-sized Irish bin and it only goes up the hip length. The mid-sized Irish town often contains mid-sized Irish Garda but because the mid-sized Irish town is relatively safe the Garda car is just for decoration and it doesn't have any guards in it. The mid-sized Irish town Garda car is driving by itself. Let's keep going. Here in the mid-sized Irish town we have a mound of soil. The soil isn't actually there for any human reasons, but it's a stark reminder that life evolves in cycles of birth and death, and someday we must all return to the soil. Here in the mid-sized Irish town, you'll often find leaves. In the mid-sized Irish town, nature acts as a backdrop to the grey mundanity of everyday life. The coffee shop in the mid-sized Irish town often looks like a social construct. It just magically grew out of the ground and nobody really knows when it began or where it ends. So we can argue that the cost of coffee in a mid-sized Irish town is a product of the hyperreal. The baristas in the mid-sized Irish town aren't actually baristas, they're paid actors. None of them know how to make coffee because all they do is drink kombucha. Here I am, beside somebody who's pretending to be a barista, but he's actually a paid actor, because a true barista wouldn't be this good looking. No. No. See, he needs a script. Here beside me, on this nondescript patch of grass, they find a stone inscription that says SV, and it used to stand for a small village, but now, it stands for Mid-Sized Irish Town. The Mid-Sized Irish Town is totally lawless. Here we'll find... Camera, over here! Here we'll find what's called the Yellow Spots of Nature, which lets you know it's safe to urinate here. What's it like being from a Mid-Sized Irish Town? Everyone wants to get out, usually. Why? It's usually shit. Not much opportunity, isn't that? Yeah, everyone wants to move to Dublin. Uh, where are you from? Ennis, unfortunately. Ennis? Yeah. Ennis is a second name. Oh? Yeah? Oh! We're not from... We're not from here. Where are you from? Cock. Keep driving, yeah? <laughs> the sign behind me says shopping, and it symbolises a roundabout, letting you know that the commercial nature of the mid-sized Irish town exists in cycles. The cycle consists of McDonald's, Big Tesco, and Petrol Station. Here's the commercial roundabout of the mid-sized Irish town. So, what's it like living in a mid-sized Irish town? Mid-sized, I'd say. Medium? Medium, yeah. What, what's, what's the positives? Don't be intimidated by my stick. I'm, I'll try not to. As I was suggesting, the roundabout of the mid-sized Irish town is a metaphor. It resembles the mid-Irish town locals battle between structure and agency. So the agency of the roundabout is that we can leave at any exit. Why are you laughing? No, I'm just intrigued. Good. The agency of the roundabout is that we can exit at any junction, but we're also held down by the structures of the roundabout, meaning we can only go this way. Did you say that or did Plato? The mid-sized Irish town often has a big Tesco. The big Tesco in a mid-sized Irish town is the only thing that takes an XL. Here in the mid-sized Irish town, the politicians created elevators to make them feel like they were somewhere modern. In the big Tesco of a mid-sized Irish town, 
the never-ending stretches of oils are vertigo inducing because the most exhilarating experience you can ever have in a mid-sized Irish town is feeling like you have to sit down because you're about to get sick. In the mid-sized Irish town everything occurs in cycles so we can see now we're back at the start at the mid-sized Irish Costa. Here in the mid-sized Irish town there's bars everywhere this one happens to be a shopping trolley. Here I am, confined in a man-sized prison cell of the mid-sized Irish town. The prison cell, much like the amenities of the mid-sized Irish town, may look satisfying because it has a mid-sized Irish biscuit, but at the end of the day, you're still stuck in the iron cage of the mid-sized Irish bureaucracy. The mid-sized Irish town often contains new builds. New builds are shiny, majestic constructions of sameness. The new builds are often inhabited by the mid-sized Irish locals. Carbon copies of similar identities living similar lives in similar boxes. Somewhere in the mid-sized Irish town, there'll often be a tidy town symbol. The tidy town is a symbol of hope for the mid-sized Irish town. It's often the only thing they boast about. Here in the mid-sized Irish town, you'll often find a mid-sized Irish pub full of mid-sized Irish men drinking mid-sized Irish pints. Here behind me, we'll find the fast food outlet, sometimes known as McDonald's, sometimes known as Burger King, sometimes known as, why is the local drunk eating chips out of a bush? If you're going to enter into a mid-sized Irish McDonald's, you should make sure you know how to fight because McDonald's in a mid-sized Irish town can often get violent. Here I am, beside yet another mid-sized Irish local. Mid-sized Irish local, I notice we're in front of a McDonald's. Do you know how to fight? I'm also an electrician, so yeah, I do know. 